Live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Croxham Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Nashville Lycans take on the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, nope, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh man, he really won. Oh, and he just left it. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. And I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Shave a few days off his life. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original? And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. A 
Great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, friend. <laughs> First down in less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. another player from the roster because he stepped on a mine and exploded his spine. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought 
thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And it's first and ten. My defensive players go berserk. They've been known. Oh, the defender almost kicked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and ten. He could go all the way. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, man. He just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will flash his way. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's 
first and ten. Second down in a lot. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo moo. Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me? The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it like Bricks is by. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He said, oh, so close. But oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Yeah. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and two. He's got his beast pal with the brave scrambler. Third down and five. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The drive was stalled and here comes the field goal attempt. He is automatic, nice kick. Boring, just getting the points and let's move on. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his... Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about 
not stepping up their game, Briggs. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Hey. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. First down and six. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. to the races. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than comp Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a softbox running on this asshole. <laughs> the offense is down to their 
last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. The 20. He is fighting for every yard. He's at the 10. He could go all the way. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Glenn, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Ah, we are, Grim. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. You can't keep a good mutant down. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, oh, the team's 
short, and that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was nasty. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, how do you like your defensive cook? The ball carrier saying, well done. Back, baby, back. He's on fire! Hey, look at you see some of those step wins they serve on the concourse. They'll blow your ass apart. He's at the 20. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. That's a TR pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> First and two. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. He took a big boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. That's a gain of 10 yards. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, that's a few low expenses, that is. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he's running like a moose right now. And the quarterback finds his man for the first. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second and three. Zips that one in there for a touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Sam, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty. He should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. First down and inch it. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Now yeah, it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and 10. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. First down and nine. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And the Cranksome Skull Jugulars decimate the opposition today and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Grim Blitz 
Metro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.